Father President James Burns, IVD, PhD, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, program directors, staff, administrators, spouses, partners, family, friends, and members of this graduating class. Good evening, and welcome to St. Mary's University of Minnesota's School of Graduate and Professional Programs Virtual Commencement Convocation. I'm Dr. Brian Schmisek, Provost and Dean of the Faculties of the University, and I will serve as the Master of Ceremonies. Students, your family and friends, together with the faculty, administration, and staff of the university, rejoice with you in your achievement of this great milestone. Although we were required to make a decision about a virtual graduation ceremony earlier than we would have wanted, we feel no less joy at celebrating the culmination of your journey at St. Mary's. We are genuinely grateful to host this virtual celebration so that you and your families can celebrate your achievements together, no matter the time or location. And we look forward to the time when we can gather together again in person. Your resilience, spirit, and persistence are all part of the narrative embedded within your degree program. At this commencement convocation, we will be conferring bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the School of Business and Technology, the School of Education, and the School of Health and Human Services. We typically have commencement ceremonies in June and January in the schools of graduate and professional programs. On our Winona campus, we have a commencement ceremony in May. At our Mandeville, Jamaica campus, we usually have commencement each September. Whatever the location, in person or virtually, this is a joyous celebration of a chapter in your life journey, a chapter that has not only challenged you intellectually, but in every other way. Our university's holistic approach to higher education has provided you with the opportunity to develop many talents I know that you will share with others as a graduate of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We have all looked forward to this day. As adult learners who have returned to further your education, your accomplishments take on even greater significance when we consider the many roles and responsibilities you've managed in order to complete your education. I recognize the challenge of the time away from family, loved ones, and friends, yet I also know the sacrifice will prove its worth in the days and years ahead. Brother Robert Smith, Senior Vice President for University Initiatives and Special Advisor to the President, will offer the invocation. Brother Robert. Thank you, Dr. Schmisek, and congratulations to the class of 2021. As is our tradition at this Lasallian Catholic University, we pause as we begin so that we might remember that we live in the holy presence of God. Good and gracious creator, we give thanks as we celebrate the resiliency as well as the noteworthy accomplishments of this St. Mary's University of Minnesota Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs, Class of 2021. During a time sorely in need of authentic leaders, we give thanks for this community that continues to seek out opportunities for growth and healing as well as for service and leadership. Reflecting our Lasallian tradition, we embrace the patience and fortitude that has brought us through this past year and will lift us up as we venture into the weeks, months, and years ahead. We express our gratitude for the support, encouragement, and care that we've witnessed, contributed to, and benefited from while at St. Mary's. And we look forward with anticipation and hope to all that lies before us. May each one of us go forward, forever filled with a hunger for learning and a dedication to continue growing in knowledge, showing compassion to all those we meet, and working always to bring about justice and reconciliation in our often fragmented and broken world. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Mary, patroness of our university, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you, Brother Robert. Mr. Terrence Russell, 
chair of the Board of Trustees of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, will offer an official welcome. Mr. Russell. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, welcome to this virtual commencement ceremony for St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We offer our congratulations to all of you who will be receiving your degrees today. I know this day may be bittersweet for you. I'm sure you are happy and proud about the successful completion of your journey at St. Mary's, but a bit sad about your inability to celebrate this day with your friends, your family, your cohorts, your faculty, and the broader St. Mary's community. We trustees want you to know how very proud we are of you for persevering in these very difficult times. The education you received has the power to transform your life. It is a precious gift made possible by the support of your families and friends, the benefactors of this university, and most importantly, by the truly inspiring and motivating people who work at St. Mary's. I'm quite certain that you all have met a few inspirational life changers during your time at St. Mary's. They are the men and women who were inspired by St. John Baptist de La Salle, the founder of the de La Salle Christian Brothers and the patron saint of educators. They have worked to make your education accessible, relevant, and to help your academic dreams come true. And now, as you leave St. Mary's, it is your turn to follow in De La Salle's footsteps and embody the La Salian Catholic mission of St. Mary's to lead ethical lives of service and leadership. We wish to congratulate all of you and your families as well. Thank you, Mr. Russell. At this time, we'd like to honor six of our graduating students with outstanding final paper awards. As part of the conclusion of their degree program, students are required to complete a capstone project. The final paper is the culmination of the capstone. In the case of doctoral students, the culmination is the dissertation. The faculty members of each degree program, in consultation with the program director, recommend candidates for this award. The deans select those to be honored with the outstanding final paper, outstanding graduate paper, or Outstanding Dissertation Award. I'm happy to announce our recipients. Haley Marie Young, School of Business and Technology, MA in Integrated Studies, Outstanding Graduate Paper. Sherry Mowbray, School of Business and Technology, MS in Project Management, Outstanding Graduate Paper. Jeremy Allen Wilgoss, School of Business and Technology, BS in Administration, outstanding final paper. Carrie Ann Bowler, School of Education, EDD in Leadership, outstanding dissertation. Catherine Marie Holtberg, School of Education, MA in Special Ed, outstanding graduate paper. Samantha Jo Kloskin, School of Education, MA in Special Ed, outstanding graduate paper. Caitlin Kristen Gill, School of Health and Human Services, Master of Social Work, Outstanding Graduate Paper. Lindsay Mornson, School of Health and Human Services, MA in Counseling and Psychological Services, Outstanding Graduate Paper. Molly Catherine Sweeney, School of Health and Human Services, MA in Health and Human Services Administration, Outstanding Graduate Paper. Congratulations to each of you on a job well done. At this time, four of today's candidates for graduation will briefly share their reflections with us. Holly Renee Corley, MA in Counseling and Psychological Services. Amini Allerby, MED in Teaching and Learning. Ansumana Kamara, BS in Information Technology. And Niya Hervu, EDD in Leadership. Hello, I am Holly Corley from the Masters of Arts in Counseling and Psychological Services program. In January of 2019, I stepped onto a plane bound for Minneapolis, leaving behind the warm mountain terrain of Northern California. I did not have a clear idea of what my time in the Midwest would hold. However, I felt a tugging on my heart to pursue further education, to become better equipped for a life of service. 
I enrolled at St. Mary's University of Minnesota that summer and began taking classes at the Twin Cities campus. Though all of our educational journeys started at different times and for different reasons, I believe that each student here felt that tug, a gentle pull toward greater vocational knowledge and training. We all said yes to that small voice. Yet what impresses me most is that our yeses persisted in the face of unanticipated adversity. A global pandemic disrupted our nation, our cities, and our families. Still, we said yes. Our state became an epicenter of racial and political unrest. Even still, we said yes. The persistence demonstrated by our graduating class reminds me of a line once spoken by St. Mary. In her youth, Mary lived as a peasant in an unassuming village in the Roman Empire. When she learned that she was to be the mother of the Messiah, she did not calculate the cost of that task or resist her calling. Instead, her reply was simple and wholehearted. May it be unto me as you have said. Each of you has lived out her words in your educational journey by staying true to your calling. May we continue to say yes in the face of challenges to come. Hello everyone, I am Amani El Arabi. I am from the MED Teaching and Learning and OCA Blended 7 community, we go by AB7. My journey started in Egypt when I decided to immigrate to the US to pursue my teaching career. I was confident that I would find many opportunities. I soon realized, however, that opportunities do not always open easily and that I would first have to deal with closed doors to find the open ones. When I first tried to pursue my teaching career and become a licensed teacher in the US, I was told that I could not. I took that advice seriously and I went on with life, with my life for two years. But then I remembered Depsy's Meredith's quote, that the door of opportunity is always open, but nobody bothers to push the door open. They just get tired out by knocking and then they leave. So I decided to go back to school and get another bachelor's degree to pursue my career. A compassionate person at the Minnesota Department of, Department of Education graciously explained the system to me, which can be very hard to figure out as an immigrant. She explained that I was given wrong information and I was issued a temporary teaching license in two weeks. So I said to myself, why don't you go pursue your dream and get a master's degree in education? The first thing I learned in the program that success happens when you have self-compassion and utilize your strengths instead of focusing on your weakness. I realized that transformation begins when you believe in the power of vulnerability, when you speak your truth, knowing that you cannot control the outcome. I learned to stand up for equity, to impact students' learning outcomes and their personal life. I also felt empowered to put compassion advocacy and leadership into action. In the middle of this, I encountered another closed door, once one we have all have to deal with, the pandemic. But this time, I was not alone. I was surrounding with a wonderful group of people who went above and beyond to support me and to support one another. Our facilitator listened with an open heart. They went above and beyond to create that meaningful learning experience for all of us. And we are absolutely grateful. Despite the odds, we managed to graduate. But this is not an ending. Our commencement is an open door, a sweet beginning for more wonderful things yet to come. I am truly grateful to my family, classmates, facilitators, students, and to my profession as an educator, and to all of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sansumano Kumara from the Information Technology Department. Life as a college student comes with many challenges, and this year it has been particularly hard. In addition to the expected difficulty during our last year at Simeri, we have had to live and study under the dark cloud of COVID-19 pandemic. My fellow graduate, I commend you for the common grit and persistence you have shown to achieve this milestone. To all of us, a hearty congratulation. My own academic journey at CMR, like many of yours, I'm sure has been marked by many positive experiences, as well as by the challenges of juggling our study with family, work, 
and other obligations. Under trying circumstances, we have relied on the support of our family and faculty to confront and conquer whatever has been thrown our way. So we thank you, dear families and faculty, for your invaluable support. Fellow graduate, as we leave here today, we must march towards our next endeavor. Whatever it may be, with the same spirit we have exhibited while student. Let's continue to strive in the face of difficulty. Let's continue to exemplify that strength of character that has propelled us through hard times. Let this ceremony, this milestone in our individual life, affirm that we can succeed despite any challenge. Let's go forth into the world, into the rest of our lives, with a shared determination to blossom into life long ambassador for our dear St. Mary University of Minnesota and to contribute in a positive way to the futures of mankind. Thank you very much and congratulations to all of the graduates 2021. Hello, my name is Nia Hervu and I am from the Doctor of Education and Leadership program. What a journey we've been on to get to this moment, commencement 2021. Our path has included sacrifice and grit, a constant balancing act between family, career, and schoolwork, and late nights, early mornings, and too many cups of coffee. When we take a moment to look back, we may realize that the more meaningful outcome of our academic journey isn't necessarily the degree that we've earned, though that definitely matters, but the process that has moved us from simply gaining knowledge to working through understanding to achieve wisdom. From having the answers to stepping back and having the courage to ask questions. From talking to listening. From a place of making assumptions and judgment to a place of compassion and curiosity. From leader to servant. From me to we. Our world is facing a pandemic, racial unrest, and deep injustice, confusion, and division on a scale that often feels overwhelming. Now it is more important than ever, whether with family, friends, coworkers, or with those with whom we disagree, to operate with wisdom, to ask courageous questions, to have compassion and curiosity, and to listen to one another. We must always remember that a leader is first and foremost a servant, we must never forget that we are all connected. I have a seven-year-old son who loves bugs. Through his fascination with butterflies, I learned about monarch migrations. Because a monarch butterfly's lifespan is only a couple of weeks, it takes multiple generations for the insects to reach their migration destination. The monarch reminds us of the importance of paving the way carrying on and doing our part here and now, even if we do not always live to see the impact of our efforts. May we as members of the graduating class of 2021 continue to serve as a positive force for good so that upcoming generations may benefit from and continue our migratory work. Congratulations to us all. Thank you, Holly, Amini, Ansumana, and Niha. It is now my distinct honor to introduce to you Father James Burns, IVD, PhD, President of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, who will offer his remarks. Father Burns. I extend my sincere greetings and a warm personal and university welcome to our virtual commencement celebration. We've all experienced great challenges and various losses in the past year, from the coronavirus to economic challenges to racial discord. Still, there are signs of hope, despite knowing that various challenges remain ahead. I'm confident and inspired by you, our graduates, at all levels at St. Mary's. You join the ranks of outstanding alumni who are making a difference by making us a stronger, more resilient society. As an institution, we are deeply indebted to you and others for your gifts and for what you have shared with us during your time here. Thank you, graduates. Your drive, determination, and dynamism have served you well during your studies and will continue to set you apart. This is especially true because you have 
been so committed to learning and thinking with the St. Mary's community and beyond. You have also aided one another during these difficult times. And so this evening, we come together, albeit virtually, filled with hope and joy, celebrating and recognizing your many contributions and hard-won accomplishments. Being with you tonight to congratulate all of you on your educational growth achieved during your time at St. Mary's brings two words to mind, preparation and expectation. They're fitting words for us to ponder, I think, at graduation. As one of our university patrons, St. John Baptist de La Salle reminds each of us that we have received talents and graces from God. At the heart of Catholic moral tradition is the conviction that each human being possesses intrinsic worth, inherent dignity, precisely because they are made in God's image. Generations of St. Mary's graduates have used the talents and graces they have received for the benefits of others. And I know you will do the same. We can see in this a kind of vocation, a higher calling, a gift to share with the world. And so this also suggests preparation, including the many ways in which you have been prepared during your time here at St. Mary's. This time of education was a time of inquiry and discovery, a time set aside in your life to strengthen your talents and to hone the graces that you have received from God. It has also prepared you to be successful workers, good neighbors, ethical citizens, and the leaders you hope to be. And with that hope comes expectations. So I challenge you to continue to ask the larger questions, not only about your craft, but also the spiritual and ethical questions that you will face. Perhaps it is an expectation that seems a bit daunting right now, as all of you, our graduates, might understandably feel a degree of ambivalence about all that surrounds us. Even the excitement about the accomplishments you have achieved during your time here at St. Mary's are likely overshadowed by the fact that you commence virtually this evening and face some uncertainty about the future. Yet I would say this is normal now more than ever. Expectation involves risk, yet expectation also suggests anticipation of the good things that lie ahead. It makes sense that you would have great expectations as you look toward your future. We share these with you. In fact, that sense of expectation is embedded in our strategic plan, building a future full of hope. We all want this for ourselves and our loved ones because this is a shared and communal hope that doesn't end at graduation. It is one that invites you to continue to be part of a hope-filled educational community for life. It is this hope-filled plan that undergirds the strengthening of our identity, rooted in our core values, the deepening involvement we share in our local communities, the improvement we witness in our academic standing, and the commitment we have to our partnerships demonstrating that St. Mary's is here for the long term. This is a bright light that we need to keep lit. Grounded in our LaSallean Catholic identity, our university community looks toward the light of the future with shared, hope-filled expectations for all that is good and many blessings. And so I wish each of you and your families these blessings this evening. As you graduate from St. Mary's, may you keep the faith, may your future look ever brighter, and may it be one that is full of purpose and hope. No, we remain here ready to help and support you. Congratulations and welcome to the next stage of your life. May God bless you. May St. John Baptist de La Salle pray for us and may we live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you, Father Burns. We've now arrived at the moment that each of you has been anticipating since you began your studies, the conferral of your degree. I invite you now to watch your screen as our 2021 St. Mary's candidates for graduation are featured. We have created three separate videos, one for each of our schools, business and technology, education, and health and human services. Identical in every other way except for our graduates who are listed by school and then by degree program in alphabetical order by last name.
Congratulations, graduates. I'm so proud of you for completing your goal. Way to go! Happy 2021. I'm Dr. Thomas Stinson, the proud program director for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing here at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I want to personally congratulate all of our graduates on a job well done. Best of luck in anything you do. Hi, this is Mary Louise, and I am very happy to, to be with you on this graduation day. This is a, 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 success, a success, and I just wish you the very best for the future. Hi, Robin Wisniewski from Rochester, wishing you a huge amount of congratulations and uh, best of luck as you, as you head on forward into the future. I am Lindsay Teglin and I'm the practicum coordinator and associate director and I'm um, wishing you congratulations on your graduation and all the hard work you've done to get through the program. We wish you well. Hi, I'm Jill Harding, program coordinator and I wanted to say congratulations and wish you all the best in all of your future endeavors. Congrats.
Congratulations, Masters of Health and Human Services Administration graduates. It's so exciting to see you finishing our program. I'm well aware of the work and the sacrifice that you've each put in to get to this point. I'm hoping that you will take some time to appreciate your accomplishments. You should be really proud of all that you've done and achieved to get to this point. I'm hoping that um, as you go out onto your journey, you will continue to connect with us here at St. Mary's and specifically with our program, letting us know where you're working, what you're doing, how you're using your degree, and of course, reaching out for references um, or just connecting us with us in any way that you need to. I can't wait to hear from each of you and where you end up, where your road takes you. Thank you so much for working with us. Congratulations, enjoy it. As the program director of St. Mary's Nurse Anesthesia Program, I just want to say congratulations to our students on completing our program. I tell a story about on my wall in my office, I have two diplomas. I have my doctorate diploma, which I'm very proud of, but the one that I am most proud of is my master's degree in anesthesia. And when I went to have them framed, I had them side by side. And the frame artist told me that the master's degree is always smaller than the doctoral degree. Now that master's degree represents the work that I did in my nurse anesthesia program. And I told her at that time that if that degree were to be framed in the way in which I thought it should be framed for the amount of energy and time and effort that goes into earning that anesthesia degree, it would be a mural taking up an entire wall in my office. So I remember as I know our colleagues do as well. We never forget what it's like to go through anesthesia school and how challenging it is and the amount of time and effort that goes into it. I can tell you without a doubt, it is one of the best decisions that I ever made in my professional career. And I am so thrilled to be able to add all of you to our list of alumni at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. So congratulations. And I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Gotterman. Thank you, Leah. Uh, just on behalf of all of us, I want to express how proud we are of each and every one of you for this accomplishment. The future is bright and we are excited to welcome you as our colleagues. Master of Social Work faculty and staff congratulate our new graduates on successfully completing all of the MSW program requirements. We look forward to working with you as colleagues and fellow social work practitioners. We are excited to see the change you will bring to your communities. Congratulations! Congratulations. Faculty and staff of the St. Mary's University of Minnesota Society Program in Counseling Psychology would like to congratulate all of you, our new doctoral graduates. We miss celebrating with you in person, but we're happy to have this chance to applaud your successful completion of the Doctor of Psychology in Counseling Psychology degree. 
We hope you get to celebrate this huge accomplishment with people you love, either in person or virtually. Fewer than 2% of people in the United States have accomplished the completion of a doctoral degree, and only a few lucky graduates have done it in the middle of a global catastrophe. Your accomplishment is very impressive, and we encourage you to take time to celebrate and reflect on this day. We are eager to follow your careers as they unfold and to witness the many positive contributions you will make as you apply your advanced knowledge and skills. And we very much look forward to working with you as colleagues and fellow psychologists, and we welcome you to the community of doctoral scholars. Congratulations. 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 Father Burns, upon the recommendation of the faculty, deans, program directors, and administration of the schools of graduate and professional programs, and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I present to you the aforementioned persons as candidates for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees on this day, June 5th, 2021, the 109th year since the founding of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them. As new graduates of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, you now join a distinguished group of alumni that welcomes you as part of a lifelong family. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ryan Pajak, an alumnus of the undergraduate class of 2004 and a 2010 graduate from our schools of graduate and professional programs, as well as the president of our St. Mary's Alumni Association, for a word of welcome and support. Mr. Pajak. Congratulations to you, graduates of the St. Mary's University of Minnesota Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs. You are now part of a network of more than 54,000 living alumni from our St. Mary's undergraduate and graduate programs. 
Welcome to this valuable and inspiring network. In your professional and personal lives, you will be amazed at how often you will cross paths with other St. Mary's alumni. You will undoubtedly find that St. Mary's alumni share a special connection that spans generations, degrees, and locations. The purpose of the Alumni Association is to grow and strengthen your connections to St. Mary's and with your fellow alums. We grow these bonds through purposeful and enjoyable social, professional, and educational opportunities. We hope that you will continue to come back home to St. Mary's, where you are always welcome and supported. We encourage you to stay connected with the lifelong friends you've made, along with the caring faculty and staff you have come to know and appreciate. We also encourage you to attend St. Mary's events wherever they might occur. We're proud of everything you have accomplished. Please continue to let us know of these successes so that we can celebrate with you. While St. Mary's has been your university, it is now your alma mater, and there will always be a place here for you as you inspire others with whom you work and become leaders in your communities. Congratulations and best wishes as you begin the next chapter of your journey. Thank you, Mr. Pajak. Before concluding this ceremony, I would like the graduates to join me in recognizing the invaluable contributions and support from individuals that have lifted you up during this time. Your spouses, partners, parents, family members, and loved ones have all contributed much to you being a St. Mary's graduate. While you have accomplished a great deal by earning a degree from St. Mary's University of Minnesota, we all know that this is neither a singular nor a solitary achievement. Therefore, I invite you to acknowledge those who've been your mentors, teachers, and scholars for these past few years. St. Jean-Baptiste de La Salle believed in the impact of an educator's role in the lives of students, as well as in our society, proclaiming to teachers, you can perform miracles by touching the hearts of those entrusted to your care. As we move toward the end of our ceremony, our closing prayer will be offered by Brother Robert Smith, Senior Vice President. As is our custom, we will then enjoy the university's alma mater. The alma mater was composed by Dr. Patrick O'Shea, professor of music on our undergraduate campus in 2001. Brother Robert. Thank you, Dr. Schmisek. As we bring closure to this graduation ceremony, we once again remember that we live in the holy presence of God. All compassionate and merciful God, we all know very well that the past year has been characterized by all too many health, economic, political, and racial and ethnic conflicts and crises. We pray that these, our most recent graduates, are leaving St. Mary's University of Minnesota with not only a new degree or professional credential, but even more we hope they are leaving with a greater sense of purpose and clarity. Wisdom God, Bless these graduates with the grace to make wise decisions, always confident in the support of those who love and support and stand beside them. Forgiving God, bless these women and men with the gift of compassion for those who suffer and are carrying heavy burdens. In a world of cacophony, bless them with the gift of clear focus and upright character, virtue, and integrity. May the Spirit of God be with you always, inviting and encouraging you to do all in your power to make this world a more humane, a more just, and a more sacred reflection of God's desires for all creation and all humankind. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Mary, patroness of our university, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.
On behalf of the faculty, administration, staff, and trustees of the university, we wish all of our graduates good health and much success and fulfillment in your life and work. Thank you all for joining us from locations near and far. This concludes our virtual schools of graduate and professional programs commencement ceremony. Congratulations and best wishes from all of us to all of you, graduates, spouses, partners, children, grandchildren, parents, families, alumni, and friends of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We will treasure the day that we're able to welcome you all back to celebrate in person. We wish you all good health and God's comfort and peace in the days ahead. May God richly bless you and your loved ones. May God continue to bless this university and its important mission. Good evening and be well.